One of the main challenges of state management is if you want to change small section of your widget, you don't want to build entire scaffold. In our case, whenever counter value changes, automatically scaffold will be rebuilt, which means a bar will be rebuilt, also center widget, column, and also this text widget, which is useless. And how do we know that entire scaffold will be rebuilt? Basically, we can put a print statement inside of the build method, and we can say entire widget is rebuilt. And now, if I hot restart my application, and also I have to open the debug console so you can see what is happening here, I'm clicking to this button. As you see, entire widget is rebuilt. So if we are getting this print, that means we are also getting this scaffold. Basically, we are building scaffold again, which is not what I want. I only want to build this text widget. So what I can do in this case, I will close this debug console and give you some solutions. First solution is don't use the provider right over here. I'm just deleting this provider. Also, I will delete this provider from here and also I will delete it from here. So what I can do, I can wrap this text widget with consumer. So consumer, that is one of the tools we are using from this provider package. After this consumer, we have to define which provider we will be using. That's going to be counter provider. And inside of the consumer, there is some required properties. One of them is the builder. So builder is required, which means we have to use it. So builder, that takes a function and automatically Dart giving me some options. For example, I will be using this one. This function gets context, then it gets provider. So currently I specify that I will be using this provider. That's why value is counter provider. If you want, you can change the name of it. You can make it just a provider. And the child property is the widget that you want to build. Here I am using the child property. Automatically this child parameter gets the value of this child. If I return this child, and also that child parameter is nullable widget. For solving this null safety problem, we can use exclamation mark. We are telling Dart that this child widget cannot be null because here we specify the text and we already know that this child widget will never be null. But that solution is not good because this consumer will build this part and we want to use the value that comes from the provider inside of this text widget, but we cannot use it because this text widget is not inside of the builder. That's why we cannot get the provider and cannot attach it to this text widget. We can say, I'm not interested in this child property. That's why you can use underscore. Then you can delete this child from here and take the text widget, place it instead of this child. And basically we are returning this text widget and we are not using child. Inside of the provider, instead of zero, I will be using provider dot counter then I have to use dollar sign and that's it. There is no issue. Then we have to call method, which is inside of this provider. So we can call it here using the instance of provider like this context dot read. We can specify our provider, which is counter provider. And then we can just call increase counter function. And as you see, we are using read instead of watch. That means we want to use this method, but we don't want to build context right over here. So we are using context here. That means whenever something changes, we are listening to it from this context. And we are saying that we will be using something from this provider, but we don't want to listen to it. Basically, we don't want to build entire scaffold. Now, 
I have to put some print statement inside of the builder. So when this builder is rebuilt, we will be notified by using this print statement. And here I will say consumer is rebuilt. So I will restart my application. So let me open debug console. Then we can see the print statement. I will clear this debug console, then click to this button. Now what we are getting, consumer is rebuilt. I'm clicking again, consumer is rebuilt. That means we successfully made this text widget reactive and we didn't build entire scaffold. That's why we are not getting an entire widget. And consumer can be very useful for optimizing performance of your application. As I said, there is several ways of making only small section of application reactive. One of them was consumer. And the second one is the one that I will explain right now. For that, I will delete this consumer. So I need this text widget. That's why I will just cut it from here, delete the entire builder from that part and place the text widget. Inside of text widget, we are getting some stuff related to providers. We have to get rid of it. Now we will learn how can we make this text widget reactive and not build entire widget. For doing this, we can extract this text widget from here. Extracting means we are getting this code and placing it maybe in a separate file. For placing this text widget in a separate file, what can we do? Inside of lib folder, I will create widgets folder. And inside of the widgets folder, I will create counter text.dart file. Then I will come back to my home page and extract this text widget. Then I can name it counter text. As you see, we are getting this text widget as a separate widget, which extends stateless widget. And then we can get this code, place it inside of counter text that we created. Here I can import it from material dart. That's it. And inside of my home page, just because we deleted counter text and place it inside of counter text.dart file, we have to import it from there. And also we can use constant, delete this constant, and that's it. There is no any issue. Now, how can I provide value to this counter text widget? That is very simple. First of all, you have to understand when we are using provider, how widget tree will be affected. For example, let's imagine that here, we have a widget that we want to provide something. And that one should be my homepage widget. Because as you see in the app dot, we are providing counter provider to this my homepage. And just because we wrap it with change notifier provider, anything that is inside of it can get this provided value basically can listen to it. And in our case, inside of my homepage, this text widget can listen to provider. And also just because this counter text widget is inside of the my homepage, also it can listen to the changes. It doesn't matter where we place this counter text. In our case, we placed this text widget inside of the counter text, but it doesn't matter just because it is inside of the my homepage, it can listen to the changes. That basically means we can go to the counter text and get the value from counter provider. So we can say context dot watch. So why we are using watch? Because we are interested in the changed values. Then we can specify which provider we will be using. That's going to be counter provider we have to import this watch also from the provider package. And lastly, we have to use parentheses. And now instance of provider is created. 
And if I try to get counter, as you see, we are able to get it. I will assign this instance to this variable provider. And then inside of this text, I will be using provider.counter. Now, if I go back to my application and click to this floating action button, as you see, our text widget is listening. First of all, we used watch right over here. Secondly, we use the value from this counter provider. But interesting part is, is entire widget will be rebuilt or only counter text widget will be rebuilt. We can determine it by using print statement inside of the build method of this counter text class. And we can say counter text is rebuilt. Now I can open my debug console. Then I can restart my application. So I will clean this part and click to this button. And as you see, counter text is rebuilt, not entire widget.